What's up, everybody? It's Jones, or your favorite comic book guy here. We got another comic book haul, comic poll, whatever you want to call it, video coming at you. Well, real quick, first order of business here. I got to give a quick shout out here to my buddy uh, Rod the Reekin. Um, Rod runs a YouTube channel, or he's on Instagram, you know, just to Reekin in his comics. You know, Rod uh, reached out to me on Sunday and asked me to be part of his uh, show. I guess Rod does this thing where he uh, shouts out, you know, people who are on YouTube or Instagram or whatnot and doing comic content or pop culture content. He gives them a little shout out, a little, you know, shot in the arm for their show and whatnot. And, you know, I really appreciate it. I picked up a couple subscribers and, uh, you know, it was really neat to see there's people out there in this community trying to help each other out, you know, and. There were a lot of other real nice guys on there and man, I'll be honest, like I looked at their stuff and on their videos and I thought, man, maybe I'm not good enough to do this. You know, I mean, I looked at some of my videos and I was like, you know, I'm just, I set up a tripod and I show my comics and it just, my phone gets what I get. I don't have cool visual effects or audio, you know. I was pretty proud of myself when I could make the picture go on the screen and I could keep yabbering. But anyway, I mean, if anything, you know, some people find a way, some people find an excuse. Well, I know which guy I am, so I got to step my game up so I can keep up with some of these awesome folks, you know? I mean, you know, Nick's Kicks and Comics, you know, there were some really cool people on there who have really cool content and, you know, you should check them out, you know, but... Anyway, enough of my yabbering, you know, let's see what I got. Well, I went to the comic book store today and uh, spent a little of my money. You know, it's a River City Hobbies out here in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Uh, you know, good selection, great guy, you know, check them out. River City Hobbies, good stuff. So I picked up my pull list and I spent a little money. Got, got, got something real special to show you guys I got. Something I'm real excited about for my own personal collection. So first thing I got here, I got Thor number 13. If you're not reading this uh, Thor run here with Donny Cates, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you or you need to look at your life and figure out what you're doing wrong because this Thor run is awesome. It, it, it's a great story. It, it's awesome artwork. I, I've never been a big Thor fan. I can't get enough of this thing. So I mean, cool stuff. I love the artwork on this comic here with Thor on the cover. I mean, it's really, really just awesome. It pops at you. You know, I'm excited to read this. I've enjoyed all of this run that I've read and I, I can't get enough of it. This one here, Nonstop Spider-Man, number one. This wasn't on my pull list. This was kind of, uh, they upselled me which, you know, was pretty cool. Every once in a while, the guy will find something that he thinks you might like, you know, put a little sticky note on it and stick it in your pull files. Hey, you know, maybe give this one a try. You know, I'll have to say most of the time, you know, my guy Tom here, he's, he's pretty right on. You know, he knows, he knows what, he knows what Joneser likes. He knows what I like. So, you know, we bought this one. I'm a little behind on my Spider-Man reading, so, um, I gotta catch up. I'm probably like six, seven issues behind. But we got this one here. It looks like a King and Black crossover. Amazing Spider-Man. The number one. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's this King and Black uh, offshoot, what have you. You know, I, I don't really know. I, again, I haven't been reading my Spider-Man. I need to catch up. You know, I have read some of the King and Black. It, it was pretty cool for a crossover. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to say every time Marvel or DC do these big events where you have to try to buy all the comics that go with the event, you know, Infinity Gauntlet Part 20,000 or, you know, whatever other events where they reboot or microverse or I, I don't know. I don't keep up anymore. I'm just a cranky old comic book fan. I don't like change, but... I digress. Moving on. We got the Amazing Spider-Man 61. New costume, new job, new spider era begins here. 
Not really sure what any of that means. Just another further reminder that old Joneser needs to start reading his Spider-Man. He's backed up because he likes the old stuff and, you know, isn't reading the new stuff as passionately as he once followed the old stuff. But speaking of the old stuff, this one's real special. This wasn't on my pull list. This was something I've had an eye on. It was one of them glass case comic books. That's right. I spent a little cha-ching, spent a little change here, you know, get something cool. Um, anybody who knows me, you know, I'm a big uh, Stan Lee, Jack Kirby fan. I'm also an even bigger, you know, Stan Lee, Steve Ditko. And if we're talking old school Spider-Man, if you're not talking Steve Ditko, I, I don't know. It, it better be John Romita. You know, but I mean, the Ditko stuff for me, it's just, Ditko's art really just kind of grabs you, you know, and of course these books are getting ridiculous and they're getting hard to afford and even harder to find in decent shape, but, you know, I'm really excited to add this, you know, into the personal collection, you know, I'll probably flip through it once before I send it off to CGC and keep it, you know, encapsulated and graded and and hold it and love it and squeeze it and keep it forever. Anyway, uh, enough of my yammering. You want to see what I got? You got Amazing Spider-Man number 19. Oh, I am in love. This comic is awesome. Uh, the, the cover really pops at you. You got Spidey swinging right at you. You know, we got the, the Sandman, the Enforcers, you got the Human Torch here. You know, and I, I've read the thing before in a reprint, but I've never actually you know, had one, uh, you know, in the real one in my hand, and you know, got one now. I'm pretty excited about it. I love the old Ditko Spider-Man stuff. I mean, that's just, it, this is where it all started. It's where it all came from, you know, and uh, you know, the guy at the story, he kind of commented, you know, the artwork from this era, you know, it's really something else, you know, and I mean, it, it, it's one of those things, you either like it or you don't, but I mean, for me, the, the old school comics and, uh, you know, this one in particular, that's where it's at. I love me some Steve Ditko, you know, and I, I've been trying like heck to, to get a, um Amazing 33, you know, and I, I bid on a couple on eBay and lost it, you know, and, uh, yeah, uh, what can I say? That one's starting to get a little out of reach, but I, I, I better get one before I can't, <laughs> you know, but uh, I love this Ditko stuff, you know, this the Ditko Spider-Man, you know, I'm a big, big, big fan of that. You know, this stuff, just uh, Ditko's artwork is just the bomb, you know, and it's just, if you ever uh, wonder, you know, the story about Steve Ditko or Stan Lee, you should check out, I've seen it on YouTube, I think it's from the BBC, In Search of Steve Ditko. Really interesting stuff, you know, I really, really liked the mystery behind this guy and, you know, what made him tick, you know, he's just an oddball dude, you know, I mean, as uh, flamboyant and in your face as Stan Lee was, is about as reclusive and quiet as Mr. Ditko was, but if you think Stan Lee created Spider-Man by himself and Ditko, you know, it was just some artist, you, you have no idea how comic books work or, or what goes into them. I mean, I would say Ditko is, is Spider-Man. Ditko was the guy who made Spider-Man a working animal. So enough of my uh, Ditko rambling and Ditko love, you know, Buy some comics, check out some comics, you know. It's cool, cool stuff. We'll catch you later.